how to set up a minimum order price in your Shopify store. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a minimum order price, so a minimum amount of dollars or whatever currency you're using on your Shopify store so people cannot check out if they do not meet the minimum. So this is a very useful feature if you're offering free shipping across your website, then you probably don't want to ship orders that are $5 or less because in those situations, you're going to be making a loss or if you're selling a bunch of accessories and the accessory itself costs like $1 and the shipping is costing $30, then you also don't want to ship those kinds of orders. So in that situation, there are different ways that you can set up a minimum order value. So a minimum amount of uh, money that people have to spend in your store to be able to check out. So to get started with that, there are two basic ways that you can do this. You know, you go up onto your dashboard. This is my dashboard. You're going to click on online store on the left side over here. And once you click on online store, you're going to click on actions and you're going to click on duplicate first. The reason that you're going to click on duplicate is that you have a copy of your sample or a copy of the entire code of your website so you're able to uh, restore it if you ever mess up the code or mess up anything you can just restore the previous version of your website from there and that is why I do recommend for most people that they do set up a copy or a duplicate of their online store now if you are tech savvy you can just click on actions and you can click on edit code over here and once you click on edit code it is going to take you to the code over here so you can see you have all of your different sections like so. So what you're going to do is you're going to click for cart. Now, once you click on cart, you can find these different sections over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down over here and you are just going to find cart dash liquid. So it's going to be somewhere around here. This is the cart product liquid, the cart button liquid, icon liquid. Yeah, component cart item CSS. So you can see over here, there are quite a few details over here. Now you can see this is like um, the liquid files you can edit in the CSS files. I would not recommend that you edit. So if you cannot find the liquid file, you can go with the component as CSS file. So what you're just going to do over here is you're going to click on your cart product liquid over here. And once you click on that, you can just uh, take a look at this section. So after this section, what you're going to do is that you're going to make some space over here and then you can paste this code over here. So you have to add this code and it really doesn't matter how much space you add, but you just have to add this code and then you can click on save over here. And just like that, your asset has been saved. So you have set up a minimum order quantity. Now you can edit the price. So minimum order is 50, but you can set up to $500 and click on save over here. And just like that, you have set a minimum order quantity. And if you ever want to edit the uh, minimum order quantity or money, you can just edit it from here if you want. Now, this might be a bit too complicated and I will leave a link to the code down below. I will make sure to link the code and where you can copy and paste that code from. If if you don't know how to work with code, if you're not very familiar with code, there are two other ways that you can do this. So one way is by integrating application. So if you click on apps over here and you're just going to go into your Shopify store. Now there are quite a few apps available for you to search for on your Shopify store. So if you search for order limits in your applications. So we're just going to search for that. I'm going to click on application first and now I'm just going to search for order limits. And what you're going to do is take a look at the Shopify marketplace and you're going to be able to find different minimum and maximum order limits. So you can just integrate one of these to set up a minimum order uh, limit. But most of these applications are paid. They do offer you a 14 day free trial. So if I open this one up, order minimum app. It starts at $3.99 a month. You can usually find something around $3 if you just want to set up this kind of basic minimum order quantity. But if you edit the code like I showed you guys, that is another you know free way to do it instead of having to pay $3 every month. But uh, if you're just setting up your store and you're not really that familiar with how to do everything and you just don't want to uh, mess up anything, then you can definitely check out one of these applications. Now, there is another method that you can also use to set 
set up a minimum order limit and that is in your settings so that is not directly a order limit but that is a shipping limit and you can just add like a side note that if your order quantity is less than fifty dollars your items will not be shipped so you can just add that side note and add that kind of shipping limit and i'm going to show you guys how to do that so you're just going to go into your settings and you're going to go out into shippings and delivery and what you're going to do is you are going to take a look at your shipping so you're going to click on manage rates and now you can see over here you have different products now let's say you have the standard rate and you can add the rate set up your own rates and then you can add the rate number and let's say you can add the price to be 50 dollars or 50 rupees whatever and you're going to click on done so if the price is 50 then the rate will be this and then you can add your own rates as so or you can use a application or calculate your own multiple rates as well if you want to do that and you can set these for individual products as well so if you're selling like accessories you can set them up from here as well so if you just click on your shipping rates over here so you can see over here you have your flat shipping rates you have your price based rate so you can also vary your shipping rates accordingly but this just enables you to create a minimum order limit on your checkout form as well so you can easily just have a minimum order quantity or minimum order value on your shopify store so i'm just going to close this up now in all three of these methods which one do i recommend adding an application or editing your shipping rates or just editing the code from here so uh in my personal opinion i think adding this code is going to be the easiest method for you to be able to actually set up your minimum order quantity it's not that difficult and if you follow the steps that i showed you guys you're easily going to be able to just uh, copy and paste this onto your shopify code it's simple and it's free you know i personally just wouldn't pay the extra three dollars every month just to have a minimum order limit on my shopify store nor would i want to you know mess up the settings that i have and you know have to calculate shipping rates and do all that hassle instead i would just copy and paste the code it only takes a couple of seconds and you're going to be done with it for once and for all and you have a minimum order quantity that is set up across your entire e-commerce platform for you to manage and you don't have to rethink all that and whenever you want to just change it you click on actions click on edit code and then you can just go on to search cart over here go in your cart liquid over here and then just scroll down and then you can just add the new value that you want the new minimum order value and this really just simplifies work for me i don't think that there is an easier method for you to be able to set up a minimum order quantity or minimum order value on your shopify store now i'll show you guys the website that i have so you can see over here on my shopify store i have this little cart over here and this is like the shopping cart to have these two items and uh, i'm only going to be able to check out on my shopify store if i have actually added you know a, a order value higher than 500 dollars or whatever currency that you're using on your shopify store so shopify is simple and easy and most of the stuff that you're looking to do on shopify you can find an integration or just find a code online or a link to the code in my description box as well for you to add that feature but shopify is not available for free so shopify starts at 29 dollars with their basic version 79 dollars for their standard shopify version and 299 dollars for their advanced version i would recommend that you check out the basic version for most people i think it suffices but if you're looking to upgrade uh, the advanced version does have better reporting and analytics for you to follow for your conversion rates so that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment box down below. And I will try to answer them as soon as possible. And I will catch you guys in the next video.